we are continuing on with some more monster themed games, which is why I'm wearing the Dark Universe shirt to I was show ask you that. representation for the classic movie monsters. Actually, just a total coincidence, I'm wearing this. Oh shit, there's a monster in my pocket. Or this, or I'm getting my first heart on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, am I, and I'm very excited. Oh, it is just, I have got, not only do I have a monster in my pocket, I have got all the monsters in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is based on, like, a, there's a lot, there's trading cards for this, there's, like, animated specials, can't remember if there was a series or not, but... I never had these cards when I was a kid. Monster in my pocket, and I I remember the name of it. I uh, it's just like I I remember Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, is it kind of like that? You would have to ask somebody who was way more into this than I was. I I, I don't know really. Like I I didn't collect anything Monster in my pocket related, and I didn't collect Garbage Pail Kids either. Mm. I knew of their existence, but. I couldn't tell you if this is a spot-on game adaptation for it, or if I were to watch the Garbage Pail Kids movie, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, uh, uh, you you know what? I you know I I take that back. I will say like maybe this is a good representation of the cards because they are very gross. Like the cards are looking. I've never heard of this before. Surprise. Well, um, <laughs> you know Dracula, right? If I, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, know I mean, the monsters. vampire. Uh, player I one vampire because. I guess we can't say Dracula or Nosferatu, but we can't say the monster. That's non-specific. <laughs> I've heard of the monsters, but I've never heard of this game. I didn't even know there was there were cards. I guess. Yeah, I mean, there were cards that I collected when I was a kid. Um, a lot of movie tie-in cards, like the Tim Burton's Batman trading cards. Uh, you're sitting way too close to the television. Ha ha ha! Nice hair. I sent out my henchmen while you were watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> they will defeat you. Okay, well, I guess he's done broadcasting. The hell kind of infomercial was that? Come on, warlock. Oh, we no. will beat you. That is classic Frankenstein's monster. That's classic. Yeah. <laughs> So what's the plot, exactly? Well, obviously, Captain Planet came on the television and started threatening their shit. Oh, you didn't tell me it was going to start. <laughs> so, I'm the... Basically, we gotta defeat these little ghouls. You know, I collected, like, movie tie-in cards. Like, I had ones for Batman, I had ones for Gremlins oh. too. In the early, mid-90s, I collected basketball cards. Uh, like, especially, like, the 92 Dream Team and, uh... How do you get up there? Oh. Bulls cards. I'm gonna need this key. It's I, a big key. I don't... Yeah, so I can fucking throw it at shit. Ah, is that I, your... There's a school. My key! I lost my key! There's a... This is actually kind of hard. A lot of people don't know this. When you read the book, Frankenstein or Dracula, you'll find out that the, they're actually very, very tiny. Like, three inches tall. <laughs> it made it very much easier to create Frankenstein's monster. I, I'm, yeah, again, I'm just running during this. I, I'm really not fighting at all, because I am still figuring this game out, and this is actually kind of hard. You gotta stay and fight, honey. You're playing this the coward's way by just running away from danger. I know. Just because Aww. you see a severed head floating near you doesn't mean you should automatically run away. You should stay and fight. Great advice. <laughs> <laughs> this could actually be a very good uh, movie uh, movie tie-in game for Indian in the Cupboard as well. <laughs> you know, I actually see. I've seen that. Oh, I. It's taken years, but I finally did a reference that you. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and it's Indian in the cupboard of all things. Oh, oh, shit. I just walked off the edge. Um, You mean the stairs? Oh, whatever. Oh, those are stairs. Yeah, we're super... Wow! Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, um, these are super... We're super tiny in this game. We jumped out of a kid's pocket, and uh, now we're gonna take over the town one centimeter at a time. 
No, we we talk about things. I can I I understand. <laughs> we talk. References. We talk about stuff every. You know, I know. I know. References. When we go out to lunch and we're forced to <laughs> to talk to each other. When we're forced to. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, actually this is a pretty good game. Oh, where'd I go? Uh, it was a good game until I just vanished. I guess I was look. I guess my character is looking at himself in a mirror. This is actually not bad. It reminds me of, uh, kind of reminds me of the Tom and Jerry game, a little, the Tom and Jerry Nintendo game, which I like a lot too. That's which, a reference I won't know. Tom and Jerry? You don't no, know what I Tom know and what Jer Tom and Jerry is, but I've never played the game. Bugs who? <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> no, the the Tom and Jerry NES game is actually pretty good. I mean, it's kind of like this where you're playing as Jerry, so. You're super tiny, and you're going through the house, so you're playing on, like, the sink or the bathtub or the basement, the attic, and there's, like, toy soldiers that come after ah. you. It's not bad. I like that the monster and Dracula's punches are so fierce that it just is just a wave of fire when you punch this shit in the face. Game over. 375 points. Do you want to go again? Yeah. <laughs> Monsters in my house, clearly which inspired the, <laughs> the Carmen song of the same name. If you haven't seen Carmen's Don't Want No Monsters in My House, it's excellent. Because Carmen, as a child, gets rid of Dracula, zombies, mummies, vampires in his house as a 12-year-old. Oh, I got the key. Wait, how do you grab no, it? No, I have the key. Well, I didn't know how to grab it. You just, I don't even know if it opens anything, uh, but you can just fucking throw it at people. I'm trying to grab the key. <laughs> I have no idea if you can actually use it to open shit, but it works when you just throw the key at, at other tiny monsters. See, you're not telling me how to play. I was trying to grab the key. I was trying to tell you about how Carmen, with the power of scripture, defeated Frankenstein's monster in The Mummy. Oh, did I die? Uh oh, there I am. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, the key is just right. God damn it. No. Now we're never going to get out of this house. So why are there monsters here that are tiny? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you exactly why there's monsters there. Devil worship. Mm. That's what they told me in school. That tells me everything. <laughs> Oh no, did I die? Us kids in the 80s were frequently worshipping Satan so much that we needed to create a monster squad and uh, also a loser's club. Various yeah. different things to I want to, to see, thwart the Satanism of the 80s. You know what I want to see is um, Little Monsters. The Fred Savage movie? Yeah. I want to see that. I also want to see uh, Drop Dead Fred. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I know we were, <laughs> you said I would like it. You would, yeah. You would like you would like Drop Dead Fred. Why would I like it? Oh. Yeah, you just would. I, I just think you would like it. Um, Little Monster. I watched Little Monsters a lot a lot when I was a kid. Um, here's my what my biggest takeaway from Little Monsters was. There's a part in the movie where Fred Savage makes himself a sandwich and it's a peanut butter and onion sandwich. Oh, and yeah, I forgot that, you like that stuff. I do. And after that movie, I was like, oh, you know what? That actually sounds kind of good. I love onions. I love peanut butter. I kind of want to try this. So I did, and I would eat peanut butter and onion sandwiches a lot when I was a kid. You're too I still would, too. <laughs> well, at least, like... If I'm going to be impressionable from anything I'm watching on television at the time, at least it's like, oh, hey, that's a sandwich I've never heard of. I might try that. As opposed to, like, I'm going to set the crib on fire and then have a peanut butter and onion sandwich afterwards. No, it was good. And my family always gave me shit for it, too. Yeah, I remember. Cause, well, you don't eat them now. I've never I seen would. Talk. I'm not against it. Talk. Oh, that's just you. I'm dead. I'm, I'm, well, I don't I'm really like to... peanut butter, and I don't really like onions. No, no. I mean, and I hate onions, so. So you would maybe the mixture of the like, two of them together. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, but why am I not moving? Oh, maybe it is his game over. Oh, or did I hit pause? Oh, maybe it is his game over. <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> you just had to get down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. They just need to get. They just need to go downstairs, and. Uh, Get rid of, uh, get rid of the troll from Cat's Eye. 
<laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that's Monster in my pocket. Subscribe uh, to our channel at youtube.com slash Productions. And if you want to see some early videos, uh, go to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash snob. And we'll see you next time.